Hey guys, so uh, I wanted to go over another video where I got a really interesting level 3 unit. Um, you're going to see, I'm going to mimic some of my earlier strats that I do in other videos, but that's just, just because it works. No, honesty. And here I'm doing arena instead of ranked mode. And we're using the uh, replay mode. And we're off to a great start already. Every time you go uh, moth early on, you generally are going to win. Or if you don't win, at least you'll draw. So let's see here. These are beautiful trades, and winning early on is hilarious. And then next, what am I going to do here? I'm going to go Bluebird. Am I going to level up the Moth? I'm going to consider it. And we level up the Moth. Which I think is a great choice. I used to think that that was a horrible move. But as I progressed, I've noticed that getting 4 health on a 3 attack or 4 attack unit lets you easily make a 2 for 1 trade. So just beautiful. And then next we go for level 2. Oh, to get an early goldfish? Wow. It's <laughs> pretty decent. And you're just setting yourself up at this point. And you can tell this is kind of when I was early on in this weekly. So I'm not making the same plays I normally would. So a loss is sad, but whenever you pick a goldfish, you're not really looking to win early on. You're more so looking to carry you later on in the game. And we use a beta fish here. A beta fish is pretty good because it gives you some stats for the unit behind. And for a goldfish that has such a high health value, uh, those stats really end up mattering a lot. So these are decent trades here. And the goldfish having high attack is extremely good. Okay. We sell the goldfish because we want a sea lion. I mean, a, a goldfish is meant to be sold, so it makes sense. And then from here, we play the long game by playing a croissant. Very good. And basically, when you see a sea lion or a poodle, that's, that's immediately what you want to gravitate to. These are good trades. And, oh nice, I thought it was going to be a tie. Okay, and as you can see, I'm foolishly passing by the, uh, the yak and the silk moth, but I don't know any better. Shame on me. And I completely agree here uh, with my future self that avocado was the way to go. Why would I go avocado there instead of working on more units? Because next turn, I'm going to be able to purchase uh, sea lines. I'm going to be able to look for poodles. So that extra gold is really going to help me filter through the uh, shop. So let's see. Uh, now I'm starting off with 16 gold. Which is a great start. And I'm rolling for a sea lion at this point. But I end up going for a level 3 unit. And the reason why is because I want to get the uh, the ribbon for it. So I go for another falcon. I get plenty of rolls here. Freeze a crow because I, I've realized that I want to go for a level 3 uh, falcon. As well as potentially a level 3 beta fish if I have the time. And that is just a horrible snipe. And we do take a loss there. So we're at 2 health. Looks pretty bad. But. This is the beauty here. We get a poodle. We level up the sea lion. And I consider. Maybe I can sell the bluebird. And go for a. Uh, a tier 5 shop. Or a toy. Pretty good. Oh, popping out an ant. That's really going to come in handy. And we're at one health. Now it's a make or break it scenario. We sell the crow. I already can tell you I'm probably going to upgrade the poodle. 
Oh, I don't. Okay, I upgrade the Falcon. And I buy the flashlight. Yes, the stinky sock could have helped me. Oh, this is beautiful. Getting two poodles out at the same time. We love to see it. Uh, the stinky sock, yeah, it could help me. But if I'm going for level threes, then I don't care about uh, if I end up losing this. But if I'm going to win a round or two, I might as well go towards winning as many rounds as possible. So what I'm basically trying to say is, if you buy a stinky sock, you're only trying to win early on. I'm trying to win all the way up to the point where I get my ribbon. So this is extremely good. You can just go for more scaling at this point. And we'd rather get a poodle, but we can take a sea lion instead. And the flashlight's going to pop next round. I'm really happy about that. Looks good. Decent trades. Okay. Now you have to think, how many ribbons can I squeeze out here? I want two ribbons. I want the beta fish, and I want the falcon. So, I could invest some more into my scaling, but instead, I need to stick with what I have. I have a lot of passive scaling, and I just need to go for more wins now. I mean, this is beautiful. And uh, one of the big issues with the poodle this week, uh, this round is the sea lions are both tier 4, and the falcon is also tier 4, so it's only buffing 2 units. But I value the buff so much that I don't mind that I'm only getting 2 buffs. That's just how strong the poodle is. Yep, good move. Because this has more of an attack value, I want it to be maybe trade 1 for 1. What, what the heck, what am I doing here? What the heck? It doesn't work like that. What am I doing? What's going on with the uh, recording? Hello? Uh... Yeah, I, I know the crow doesn't work like that. What happened here? Okay, I guess I converted it or put it together. I don't even know what happened with my recording. Okay, looks good. And these overall are just great buffs. I'm really only concerned about buffing the Falcon, but I'm just not getting it to the point where it's working. Great Falcon. Okay, and an easy level 3. And I just need to get that Falcon to level 3. And I'm thinking in my head, okay, if I need to, I'll sell a Poodle. If I need to again, I'll sell a second Poodle. I'll try to make this work as long as I can get this Falcon leveled up. Because I already have the Beta Fish completed. Okay. Really good. And now all I need is the ribbon. That's all I care about. So we hunt for the ribbon here. We got a chocolate. So if I need a panic cell, I can get the falcon completed. So I'm like, oh crap. Right here. I'm like, oh crap. I don't have enough gold for the falcon, even if I did roll into it. So I made a hard decision. I sold the poodle. I probably could have gotten away with selling the level 1 one instead, but I got my level 3 falcon, and that was the whole point of this, was to get two ribbons, the beta fish and the falcon. And luckily, I realized that I needed to freeze the, the crow, otherwise I would have risked missing out on it, which I would have. And it's a lot closer. Luckily, I pull it out with a level 3 orca, which is just completely unfair. But I end up pulling this one off, because I was smart enough to freeze the crow for the chance to get it. And this is just a bunch of nonsense. But, that's game! We got two ribbons out of it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know this is a bit faster than my other videos, but I feel like it's more approachable. 
Uh, but let me know what you think. I'll see you on the next one.